Well, that was interesting. And the kids are back. Yep. Told you I would save you. Well, you did. And he just gets beaten up. Mallow, what are you doing? How dare you just walk right past your friend there? You didn't even try to help him. Oh, but you don't care. You don't. You never care. Baby face. Mallow, not to be confused with Mallow from Mario RPG, the marshmallow of the same name, spelled differently. Hi, Renato. And this... is my daughter Luda. Poor Barnes. No one likes him. Yeah, Renato's a nice guy. All of a sudden, everyone was captured, and then until now, it's been like... A nightmare! Sheesh, babyface. That seems like a very dark word for him. Considering he's, like, one year old. He's not actually one year old. I think he might be, like, eight. Maybe... Six. I don't know how old he is. I just know that he's roughly as old as he looks. And yet, in a matter of moments, he starts running a business. Renato's gonna try to help us out. What are you looking at me for, kids? I think you wanted me to maybe bring them back to the village. So, what am I going to do? Just lift all of you in my arms? I guess I could do that. I'm, I'm kind of strong, but not that strong. Sorry, kids. No can do. Um, whoops, I'm going the wrong way. No, am I going the wrong way? Which way is Death Mountain? This way is Death Mountain. Right? Darn it. Let me look at my map just to be sure. Yeah. Heading to Death Mountain to make sure that I can talk to the Gorons and have them do things for me that are helpful. We need another stone slab thing. And they have one. I don't think that's the point that we were trying to get across with Renato a second ago, but that's what our ultimate goal is, is just to get that thing. And cue the Goron village music! Which sounds a lot more triumphant in this game than it does in Ocarina. Once it gets to the horns part. Dun 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 I quite enjoy it. No humans allowed! Ah! He is angry at me. I can stop this. I've trained in goat herding. Now, I'm not positive, but I think that's unavoidable damage. Whenever he knocks you off like that. Maybe if you time it just right, then you don't take any damage, but from my experience, you always either lose half a heart or a full heart whenever he attacks you. And I don't think that you can just run off. Maybe you can, but then... The point of the cutscene's kind of ruined if you do that. Yeah, I know Bo. He's the mayor. Why are you telling me that like I don't know who he is? I've kind of known him all my life, I assume. It's gonna be kind of hard to get there without a horse, but uh, I guess I'll have to do that. If only I had a horse. <clears throat> Oh, hey, look, a horse. I didn't know this was going to happen. Epona, you, uh... You alright there? No? Okay. Looks like we're gonna be doing a rodeo roundup. Suddenly, quick time sequence. 
This is a little bit weird. Just hold the direction that it tells you to until the end, and then press A. Left, and then A. We did it. Another thing that only happens once in the game, I'm pretty sure there's never another quick time sequence like that again. Well, that was cool. Yeah, not only would it make getting into town easier, I'm pretty sure that without this horse, getting into town again would be impossible. Because we have to pass by that gate, and we can't, for whatever reason, open the gate. So, we need our horse to jump over it. Even though it is a very sharp-looking gate, and would probably be very painful for the underside of her belly. Hey, Mr. Postman guy. Uku? How the heck did Uku send a letter? Uku has, like, tiny wings. And I would not imagine Uku to be literate, so that's just a double whammy there. How did you pick up a pen and write something? Maybe they have typewriters. I'm just picturing Uku typing away at a typewriter with her feet. I'm pretty sure it's a her. We might as well look at some of these letters at some point. That's the fish journal. Of all the amazing fish that I've caught. Yeah, Uku has a son. Whom we probably won't use, although I found her son to be useful in one dungeon. Here's a golden bug. A pill bug. Otherwise known as a, a roly-poly. I don't know who else calls them roly-polies. There is roly-poly-oly, but that's like the only thing that comes to mind. There's probably another golden bug around here somewhere, because normally if you find a bug in any location, then there's another one of the same type nearby. So, I think we collected the female pill bug, was it? Which means that there would be a male pill bug somewhere around here, but I don't know where it is, so... That's gonna be another thing that I worry about later. The golden bugs will... not really serve a purpose until a fair bit into the game. But they're mostly used for getting money. That's, that's basically their whole purpose. And come to think of it, I'm curious if getting the same bug twice would... No, I don't think you can get the same bug twice and sell it twice. Because you still keep them in the same, like, inventory screen in the pause menu. It was a thought, at least. For making quick cash. Get rich quick. Buy gold. Bugs. Um... Eh? Okay. Stop getting caught up on little things, Epona. Stop getting caught up on little things, Epona. Makes me very, uh, anxious to see Zelda use amazing new innovation of having the horse run away from trees rather than into them. Seems like that's something that Nintendo could have done earlier. And I'm pretty sure that that's been done with Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus, uh, Colossus innovated in a number of ways, I guess. Oh yeah, here's something I can do. Remember that Howling Stone that we ran into earlier? We can now talk to this gold wolf that appeared because of that Howling Stone. Every time that I've played this game until recently, um, upon meeting one of these golden wolves, has been with Link not on his horse. So I never realized that you could st initiate that cutscene where the wolf charges at your face um, while still on your horse. Another tidbit that makes this game interesting. Darn it, Link, whenever you're right over him, that should be the most opportune aim.
I am certainly capable of performing your lost art. With some trial and error. Always have to slam my sword through the clouds below me first. That we can stand on because science. I like the shield attack. It's definitely going to be useful in the next dungeon if we bother to get a different shield. Because there are two shields in this game. We have the inferior one at the moment. I don't think I have enough money for the other one. I might. We can find out. I just deflected a fireball with my wooden shield. Thankfully this is like a virtual reality location, so it doesn't burn it up. Seven hidden secrets in all. This game's combat is definitely the most advanced of the series so far, unless you count Skyward Sword because it's all motion controlled and every motion that you make and the way that you make it determines which way you swing your sword. But in terms of visible maneuvers, this is definitely the most advanced. Wind Waker has like the basic slash and the spin attack and then that parry attack whenever you press A at the right time uh, in front of an enemy that's about to attack you. But I'm kind of not a fan of that because that's the kind of thing that I feel like you should be able to do at any time, and that's something that you will be able to do at any time in this game. Whoa! He opened his eyes. He is just like the dad in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. We have a lot of catching up to do, Mayor Bo. Tie a bow around that story. Convenient that he knows Renato. Goodness, that face! Don't know about Elia, I'm sorry. Wish I could tell you, but... I kind of can't talk, I'm a silent protagonist. And I can only speak with you through telepathy. So you need help getting through the Gorons of Death Mountain. Well, I used to be a Goron. I can help you. Wouldn't that just explain everything? He is basically a Goron of a person. Sumo wrestling. It's not sumo wrestling. He left off the G. It's sumo wrestling. Again. Whenever you think The Legend of Zelda, a grand adventure, clearly you think of sumo wrestling. <laughs> Just... This game... What is this game? It's probably not an image that you ever wanted to see. Although anyone who has a fantasy of seeing a shirtless Link is about to have that fulfilled. So weird. And it gets even weirder with this announcer. I don't know what that voice is supposed to be. So the last time I tried this, I had the worst time with this sumo wrestling thing. I couldn't get any hits in at all. And, like, I had one match that took just ages and ages and ages. I hope that it doesn't take as long this time. So far, it looks like it might be. It doesn't seem like there's that much of a trick to it. You're just supposed to do it, but if he telegraphs his attacks at all, then I'm not sure how he does it. Seems like the only real strategy that you can do is survive doing the two moves that you know how to do. Oh, but now he's going to do it a second time. Great. Just what I always wanted was more of the same thing that we just did. It might not even be programmed any differently. No, stop that. 
Okay, human Goron. I'm gonna have to try to... No, no. What is he doing? Don't you dare. I don't understand this. Also, it looks like we're on a helicopter pad. That's not an H in the middle, but it almost looks like an H. He is the, roughly the size of a helicopter. Are we almost done here? Slapping a fat guy in the face isn't exactly what I planned for the day. Although I can't deny the satisfaction in it. <laughs> 